out here today? <laughs> we need to fix the rear beam. On YouTube, I have not seen any videos of a Nissan Sentra with a rear beam being fixed. So I guess this is the first one on YouTube. It always starts up. Oh, that. I mean, okay, all right, there's a little problem, all right? The battery wasn't hooked up all the way. I'll fix that. Give it a try now. So as I said, I did not know how to remove this, so we're on a journey, but if I end up hosting it, then obviously I did it. So I'm taking off this bar right here. It's, it's a 17 mil. We got a Toyota Corolla with like an exhaust, but it's completely stock. Why? Nice. Alright, so there are some bolts in here. The gold bolts that are right there. Some other bolts up here. Um, those are all 17 mils. I'm removing them. That looks like a little spot weld right there, but it's moving out. So hopefully it does move and we don't have to just take it off from here because I want to pull the whole piece off you know so hopefully we can do that all right guys check that out so there was not a spot wheel because we are free that's just a, like a that's just like a like a, 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 a guide so we are free we are out this side so we need to do uh this top bolt right there and then we need to do the other side and this rear beam should just literally drop and then we should, we should do the brake lines, remove those and uh, then yeah. Alright, I've just been going at it, I haven't really been recording but this is what I've done since the last part. I've undid these 10 mils, one and two down on the, on the other side. I took this off. Uh, so this just actually just slides right out like just slides right out from this and then next thing is i got my breaker bar loosen this bolt right here and then this just slid right out no problem and then i'm here so now what i'm doing is i'm i'm bolting all of these to slide this whole piece out and then yeah but before we slide the whole piece out you unhook the brake line here and then you uh then this will be now on the floor too actually you don't have to because i'm pulling the whole piece out so just unhook it from here and set it slowly on the ground and then nothing will leak hopefully all right i just pulled the clip out bam pulled that clip out bam and yeah i just it just slide right out and yeah she's right here now on the ground um so yeah now let's go do the other side, then after that, literally you can just drop the whole thing. Just drop it. And we're done. It's not too hard actually, it's just time consuming, that's a thing. So, rear beam is basically on the floor and same thing on the other side, very simple. And here we go. Everything is unwanted and... Oh yeah. There it is. She's out. Hell yeah. Now all I have is out from over here. Now all the thing I have to do now is that bolt right there, which I believe is 17, and then we are done. So we have a 17 with a long extension right here. And we're just about to right here. About to send it. Okay, looks like I need a longer extension. We'll get one. 
hacked, hacked, haggard shit right there. I think the wrench is just gonna pop though. Oh! Loosen it. Huh? Something popped. All right guys, she's ready to come out. There she is, rear beam, huh? Oh, so this is what? Look at this, look at this, it's like, it popped out, but it's bent somewhere though. Oh, that just, yeah, that tore it. Huh, over here is still good though. I might just put a whole new rear beam. This top piece might be good still, but you can see the welds here are cracked because something bent, but over here they're straight still. No cracks, so might as well just re replace this whole rear beam because this side is bent, so yeah. All right, guys, it is the next day. Uh, so we went, uh, we went to the junkyard and we got the whole rear assembly. Disc brakes, this right here came from an SCR. SCR. So we're doing full rear end conversion. I'll show you guys how much I, I paid for this, right? Most people would be like, all right, we do a, a rear end conversion from drums, which are these, to this, it's gonna, you know, you just buy the plates. Yeah, I spent $65 on the whole rear beam with the disc brakes, calipers, pads, disc brakes, whole rear beam, control arm, all that for 65 bucks at pull apart. So, tell me, why would you buy the whole kit? Like, to, no, so just remove re re the whole okay it's like a two hour job don't get me wrong it is but oh and you need a and you need the whole handbrake cable because this doesn't fit i'll show you guys how to unfold that so we're basically doing the whole rear rear end conversion um but it works though from that to that well hopefully we I, I don't know yet we're about to see First off is I have the SCR seats and what I'm gonna do we need to remove this whole uh, center console right here because we need to install a new handbrake new handbrake cables uh, I got so that's a must so for the center console there's two bolts up there right up there in the other corner and then you pull this thing out and you got one and you got two so I'm hoping this is the Correct, I mean it should be so. Uh, we'll see. And she is out! Bam! And so now all I have to do is just, these two come out, they'll just slip out, but the, the handbrake is on now because holding this up. And I do have a new airbag uh, sending unit because this car did deploy all the airbags. So I believe I do need a new sending unit computer, which I got one from the junkyard. So. We'll probably put it in, and then yeah, I still all the airbags are in. I still need to hook up that. So you need to change 
you need to pull these out and put the other ones on if you want to have your handbrake work with the with the disc brakes because the drums don't work uh, the drum handbrake doesn't work with the disc so just you need to redo the pull the whole thing and you have to drop the exhaust so be ready for that one so this is what I've been doing I've been with the jack I've been adjusting I've been trying to put this thing on it's in the hole but not really so this is not as easy as as, as I thought I would able to put on I just need an extra hand that's all I need because one person is kind of hard so well the bolt over there is in uh, we have one bolt over the, here in the corner we have two over, over, over there it turns out this is a little hint from the crash but I think it'll work so what I'm gonna do now is unhook the old uh, brake lens and hooked up the new ones so I can move this out the way handbrake I'm gonna leave it there because it also needs to get removed so I'm gonna just move that out the way and um see how it works guys we have resorted to angle grinders this should not okay the reason I have to do this is because my car is wrecked if your car is not wrecked everything will line up properly If you can see nothing lines up I mean because this side is smushed up a little bit from the accident so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut the chassis frame rail this is a daily okay whatever right here here it is I'm gonna cut bam bam something like that I don't know bam Well, I just did something I, I wasn't supposed to, but they're telling me it worked. I don't know. I just chopped off the nipple. I'm just gonna s screw it on. Because all the bolts line up except for the nipple, and the nipple doesn't do crap and line it up. So, alright, so I just took off the shield. We got two, we got, I mean, four, two, two 10 mils, and we got a 17 mils right there. I just slid off the heat shield. Ah, so you have to stock exhaust which is extremely tiny and then you would have these things I already unbolted one but you got two 10 mils one there and one there this will unbolt just pull right out and there's your handbrake cable from the inside as you guys remember we took uh, that off and just basically unbolt the hanger over there and you just pull right out and then see that it's already out basically and then just hook, you hook your new one like this one onto your your new disc brake and bam and just run it through here and bam all right guys everything is hooked up finally so we got the handbrake i think it's off right now i still need to uh yeah work that a little, little bit but bam she's on got everything hooked up she ain't moving anywhere yes sir no I did end up taking out the standard console. I put it right there. Just so that's easier. All right, guys. I got the took it out for a test drive. There she sits. The wrecked Sentra is actually coming along. Keep in mind, this was a total car. I purchased it for three hundred bucks. I think I overpaid. Doing three hundred. I should have bought this for like a hundred bucks, but I bought it. I mean, this, this motor has it has 85k on it. The transmission has 85k. I I could have sold motor and trans for 600 600 bucks. That would have been twice with the car, and I still had the whole car. But you know, this side is a nice side. I did it replaced the doors, everything in this car. This side just needs to get good, but and I need a, a fender for it. But interior is coming along. Just cleaning back seats from the SER. Sorry, from the Spec V looking good, looking fresh. I still have the front seats too. I have the door panel. I have everything else I need. And I ordered a coal over. So, this, this car is going to be my daily B15 Central with the 1.8.
not, not the fastest thing to award, but I'm going to put an exhaust and cold air intake, and that'll be about it. So, oh, and I'm going to manual swap it probably later on, because automatic, no, no, no. So, yeah, guys, thanks for watching. Please tune for my next video, B15 Central. VR6 is uh, still taken apart. I need money for that, but I also need a daily, because this is uh, uh, it's having trouble. So, nice daily. It's coming along. Alright, guys, I'll see you guys later.